Hello. In this test, we are trying to demonstrate all the key TLS features that we have added in 9.0, including the throughput performance that we enhanced between previous breaking point version and 9.0 version. So this is a pretty standard test. I'm using a CloudStorm card, uh, 100 IP addresses at the client, 100 IPs, IP addresses at the server. Let's quickly look at the component. We are trying to achieve max throughput. So the Superflow should reflect that. So I'll go to the Superflow and let's uh, see some of the features as well while we navigate through the Superflow. So we are using ECDH, ECDSA with AES-256 GCM SHA. So this will be important for a throughput performance. As you can see, we are using a 256 elliptical curve PEM and uh, certificate and key. And uh, we have added new options like the A ALPN option, the applica application layer protocol negotiation, which can be used to negotiate HTTP2. Uh, let's also go towards the uh, client side and see what we are doing here. So we are using the same uh, cipher here. Uh, it's, an, it's a loop back test. We have disabled reuse. We don't check for client certificates in this case, so that, that doesn't, uh, doesn't really matter. For the gets, uh, we are using a get and a response of 44K. And to increase the throughput, we have a go-to loop that would do this repeatedly so that we have a lot of gets and responses over every single connection. And this is just to get the max throughput that the box can give and mini minimize the number of uh, TLS connection that needs to be done. Although we don't, do not want the TLS connections to be zero because that would be pretty unrealistic. So that's the that's a, a simple superflow config. We are not going to save anything here and get back to the test. We are using two components in this particular test so that we get the uh, full utilization of the two network processors. Uh, and we also had one more feature that, uh, that was added that in, uh, caused the throughput and enhancement. And let's quickly review that. And that would be the SSL record size. So uh, we, previously, you could not configure it in breaking point, but with 9.0, you can. And you can specify the record size as high as 16,384. Uh, or if you keep it at zero, we will find out the best record size to use and try to get the max performance that we can. So that said, we uh, let's quickly run this test and see what kind of max throughput it gets. Um, it's a 44K page size and the gets and responses that's happening multiple times over the TLS connection. So there is a small ramp up where the uh, connections are getting rammed up. And you see we already have a very high throughput uh, with, the, with the super flow that we are using. We can quickly see the TLS stats to see if it's getting reflected. And sure enough, we have uh, around 92 gigs of uh, encryption decryption that's happening uh, every second. Uh, if you remember the cipher, it's a pretty strong cipher AES-256 GCM SHA-384. Uh, we go to the super flows and we see all those things are getting successful. And if we go to the resources, we see our resources are well utilized. 95% is a pretty high utilization rate. And both the network processors in this CloudStorm card is being uh, utilized. Let's quickly go back to the summary and you see we have a high number of transactions thanks to the gets and responses that are there. Fairly low number of connection rate but not zero so we have some uh, ECDH, ECDS8 uh, connections being established and the throughput, a combined throughput of 100, 100 plus gigs which is uh, awesome compared to the previous one, a uh, previous version and you can see uh, most of this throughput is contributed from the Rx side, the response, the 44K page size response that's being uh, asked for each of the get commands. So that is for uh, pure throughput tests. What we, what I also did was try to show some multi-objective tests where we have throughput, CC, CPS all being high at the same time. So let's uh, go to that config and review that. So I have loaded this config that would hopefully give us higher CP, uh, reasonably high CPS throughput and concurrent connections. So let's quickly uh, review the super flows. Rest of the component settings have kept the same. So only changes made in, is in the super flow side. What I have done is I have removed the go tos. Uh, if, if you can want, if you want to review the uh, accept TLS and send TLS, the parameters there are literally the same. Uh, only thing is the go to is not there anymore, and the page size, which was 44K previously, is somewhere around close to 1 meg. So we are using a larger page size, uh, but we don't 
uh, do a go to. So this is just every loop and then the connection gets closed. So that's our super flow here. And we have uh, everything else same, including the record size, which we have not touched. We have kept it to zero, which means it will pick up the highest record size possible. And we have two components to ensure that both the network processors gets used utilized. We try to bump up the concurrent connections by using this pa parameters in the shared component settings to get, get the highest concurrent connection that is possible. Now let's run this test as well. So I see the test execution has started and you would see a much smaller number of attempts being successful, obviously, because of this one meg uh, uh, page size. But what you also see is, uh, which is different than the previous test that I just ran, is that the concurrent connections are getting uh, increased. We are trying to reach that 1.5 million concurrent connection. That's the max we get. We also have a very steady uh, uh, connection rate, so lots of SSL connections being happening here and you see there is a spike in the throughput as well so the throughput uh, also is trying to go higher and uh, we are trying to get multi-objective high performance so soon the concurrent connection limits that we gave which is 1.5 million is reached and now we see the throughput slowly climbing up as well and the connection rate is uh, is steady it's uh, it's not doing as much connections because of the concurrency being reached but we get a steady somewhere around 88 gigs of throughput 89 gigs of throughput while having a 1.5 million concurrent flows being there so uh, a a good example of multi objective uh, traffic where we have high concurrency and high throughput uh, simultaneously we can quickly verify in the ssl tls that and we see the encryption throughput that yeah, the sessions new sessions have obviously gone, gone down because we are not closing the concurrent connections anymore and sending trying to send as much uh, uh, one meg file uh, traffic from each of them and we can go to the resources and review the resources and we see we are uh, pretty high up there 94 percent which is a good value which means we are utilizing the resources as much and the memory is high as well so we are utilizing both resources and and memory Thanks a lot for watching.